I like to make a special mention. Yes. Uh, Patrick, I understand that when you win, and the type of win that you had calls for a lot of celebration. And leaving those celebrations you came to us, we are really humbled by your presence here. I know at this time there would be a lot of demand on you, a lot of ask on you to be celebrating and being along. Thank you very much. And I can tell you, Patrick, we'll do you an honor. This is my one word, fine commitment to you. We'll try our best to make a difference. And I'm sure we'll be able to, with all the cooperation that I see, which is there in the air. Thank you. I thought I should. It's really a great honor to be here at such an auspicious occasion when we are heading for a great job which is being done we going to be agreement going to be MOU going to be uh, uh, executed between the two groups from here and one from India, rather two from India. I will let me say four partners. Dua, uh, Raman Dua, I'm sorry, Raman Dua and uh, Sabrawal Sahib, Sahagal, H.C. Sahagal and our young partner who we will be looking after here in Canada, Karan Sagal. Give a big hand for Karan Sagal, please. <laughs> Let me acknowledge the presence of our elect mayor, Patrick Brown, and another persons, those all are here. I welcome you, everyone, and I congratulate you to be part of this occasion. I know Raban Dua from long time. He is a person, I'm not going to say much about it because Mr. Dheer, Jack Dheer has already said it. Because, you know, I, I will be wasting the time only because there's nothing to show more light when he's already shining in the, in, in the cities. Not only in Brampton, Mississauga, all over in GTA, you can see the name of same Max. As a businessman, he has the qualities of businessman. He's a professional, he's a true mind, he's credible. He says the things and he does those. He has got the prominency in the area, his business acumen is great. You can rely on him. Anybody can rely on him. He is a person who has come up from the scratch, from the down, and taken his Cmax to such an extent that everybody knows Cmax in Brampton, Mississauga. So, our next partner, Mr. Sabrawal, P.K. Sabrawal, I happened to meet him through uh, our friend Raman Dua in his office and he offered me to, to, to come and join him in his new venture which they have already opened in uh, uh, just one kilometer, one hour's drive from here and they, that is the place where when you go you can find that uh, yes is a peaceful place and Karan was there on that day. Karan, he gave us full tour of the place and I was really mesmerized after seeing that, that this is the place which is going to be built, which Raman was telling me in the office that what they are going to do it there, it was just a faint mem picture for me. But when I went there, I really, I realized it rather that yes, something is going to be big there. I congratulate you all, all the four partners, that you have reached to the expectations of the Liberal Party. Our Right Honourable Justin Trudeau has already aspired, he has already said that we want to do the businesses in collaboration with the partners. So once you are starting that business here, it's a, a, you are one sort of fulfilling our 
motors you are reaching to the expectations of our prime minister i congratulate you for that also thank you very much for for that i have to say that sunday i was i had a opportunity to talk to mr uh, our uh, uh, sagal mr sagal as he sagal during that one hour discussion i can i could read him that he is not only a a businessman which is shown on the big web that he is a owner of seven big businesses in india he employs 2500 employees there but from the talk from the discussion when i was sitting with him i can see that how he is going to proceed here in our canada his vision to bring himalaya here his vision to bring all the medicines which grow there in himalaya they will be growing here in canada uh, it was first it was fascinating for me but when i all heard it and gone through his ideas i can really i can tell you uh, everyone that we canadians are lucky to have this type of businessman coming relying on our canadian system on our canada that we are capable to provide them the benefits which they deserve here thank you mr bhartia thank you very much welcome to the function and uh, it's a really honor to be again with you here today you are a friend of the community and in, uh, in indian community and people love you so thank you very much so i acknowledge your presence also so at the end i want to say that canada is a country mr sabrawal which wants to have the people like you businessmen like you to come and invest here and do the progress we are the people we we canadians want that you should come and as you are want i want to acknowledge your other i want to say that rather what what you want from us we are ready to provide you at any time any time i can be useful where i can be provide my services can be helpful to you being a chairperson of uh, canada india parliamentary friendship group i am at your disposal please count on me thank you very much thank you all right please welcome mr pk sabarwalji thank, thank you jack thank you very much my friends uh, honorable guest and i'm so honored that you are all here and uh, so helpful to us always uh, i know i met john 3 uh, years ago uh, in the city of uh, coburg i would say i don't i can't pronounce the big name that you were there and you were there with your all staff and you were you told me that okay i'm always there to help you and you are helping us and also mr bhatia always there sanga saab uh, you don't have to say anything i know whenever i went to you me and raman you are always one step ahead always so proud of you guys thank you very much and uh, patrick is gone but you know patrick our good friend thank you very much for uh, being here and let me introduce my childhood friend i would say childhood friend mr sagal now we are partners but i would say childhood friend mr sagal as he sagal i know when we were so young our kids were born and we used to take them to the school admission was the biggest problem there in india then karan then uh, older sister shruti sanchi and then sorab i used to take them to the school admission was the problem then to the kindergarten and then i remember those then 30 35 years gone like this and now we are partners we have this we are all here for a strategic alliance of i would say joint venture mr s sagal ojon news and pk sabarwal and uh, raman dua current sagal sorab sabarwal thank you very much please mr sagal Uh, thank you pk i'm really uh, touched by the humility and uh, the honor that your presence has brought to me i'm really really humbled when uh, pk was talking that we will be signing the memorandum john was taking his pen out and showing me 
So I understand the amount of enthusiasm. In fact, your presence with us had been a blessing when we were just knocking off certain things to recreate. That was the time he was standing along with us. Uh, Deepak ji, uh, Dinesh ji, we take your presence as a blessing and uh, we are really touched by your unassuming presence and we really understand who you are, what you are. You represent the country and your representation is an honor to the country. Thank you very much. And <laughs> Sangha ji, you had been very kind in mentioning what you mentioned and uh, it's very important to have assurance from a person of your stature and your assurance itself is a moral booster and I can make it a mention to all of you that your confidence in us is a matter of responsibility and we'll try to discharge our responsibility in a very responsible manner. Thank you and over to you. So folks, uh, if you uh, take a look at the screen here, we have a short video that tells you about this great initiative. was already setting up the chairs. Let's start off uh, with our wonderful ambassador, uh, the Honorable Dinesh Ji, if you could please join us, sir, up here. And then uh, PK, please, sir. And my dear friend, Raman, Raman Dua. Yes, let's invite Mr. Ramesh Sangaji as well. There he is. If we can invite uh, the younger uh, boys, Saurabh and Karan as well, to come up. No cheers for you guys. You guys are too young to be sitting down. <laughs> Let the old man sit and then you guys can just stand behind them. <laughs> Karen? So His Excellency Mr. Dinesh Patia, he will be representing the Indian diaspora of the business and uh, with Mr. Sagal, Member of Parliament, Mr. Rameshwar Sangha. He will be representing from Canadian government for the Canadian diaspora of the business. And I'm pretty sure this alliance is going to create a history, not only in Canadian market, but as well as it is going to set up an example in Indian market. And I can guarantee you there are good chances it will bring close to $1 billion investment in I'm the deputy mayor in Alma Calderman Township, the home of Northumberland Heights Spa. Please keep watching Toronto 360 TV. You'll love it.
The deal has been inked, signed, sealed, and delivered. Here we go. If I can please invite uh, our wonderful uh, Consul General of India of Toronto, the great ambassador, his <coughs> excellency, if I can invite Dinesh Bhatiaji to please come up and uh, say a few words. Those people who are sitting at the back, the very sharp lights here, I can't see everyone, but those people sitting at the back couldn't see the signatures being done. I was sitting here with the three signatories and I saw the signatures being done, and all the three signatures were very complicated. So I learned a lesson that the more complicated your signatures are, the richer you are in life. <laughs> so that's wonderful. So I'm going to try and make my signature as complicated as possible now onwards. But it's wonderful to be here, and uh, wherever India is, I'm there in Toronto. Wherever there's Indian interest, Indian investment, Indian diaspora, Indian culture, anything related to do with India, my wife and I, my consulate and my team, we are there to support. And today, of course, we have known Mr. Sagal and the family, Itaji, Karan, his wife, we have known them. And we have been to their lovely resort once, which uh, really signifies what you're trying to do. And that is the first operating project you have in uh, Toronto, in Canada now. Uh, that's a flagship, I should say. Uh, we are happy that you know, that resort is, has come up so well. And it's all efforts to, uh, to his son, Karan, and his team, uh, who have done a wonderful job in that uh, resort. And, uh, like the resort has come up so beautifully, I hope that the rest of the projects that Mr. Segal and Save Max and New Gen, Sabarwalji's New Gen and Mr. Dua's uh, Save Max are planning, they will also come up so beautifully, so wonderfully, and um, wish you all the very best. If any which way we can help you, the consulate can help you to promote your interest in Canada, we are there with you. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Folks, we have a very special presentation to tell you what Ozone is all about. And I'd like to invite uh, the chairman, the managing director of uh, Ozone, Mr. Sagalji. Uh, thank you very much. You want to use this point or I can do the... You can do the honor. Thank you, sir. And before we come down to this, uh, as it happens in everybody's life, after a while, when you have attained something meaningful, you keep on questioning yourself, why I should work? Should I or should I not? Should I retire? But fine, when you have done your bit, John, in your life, and you look at the younger people, those who are working in the organization, you feel very, very responsible to them. You feel on occasion, Fine, I have played my game and I have enjoyed my game. But if I play longer, I can make their game also enjoyable, more meaningful, more thrilling. So I consider that it is a responsibility that one should discharge in a responsible manner. You should continue to have a game and you should give a good game to the people that you work for. And that game is a constant advancement and the constant progression in their life. So seeing their aspiration, the way they look at me, and uh, 
I decided that I'll die with my shoes on. So I'm sure we'll make a difference in the society. I'll try my best to make a difference in this land, which I find is very, very hospitable, very nice. And uh, incidentally, we find uh, so much of humility and so much of cooperation happening that we find that this is a good place to work. And I'm sure we'll be able to do something very meaningful. We stand for, this is something we remind ourselves every day, that any business that we do, either we should be adding life to years, or we should be adding years to life. In case we are not doing either of them, then that's not a wise business to be in. So we attempt constantly and try our best that whatever we do, should do either. Either life to years or add years to life. Ozone, when we started this group, Ozone was a very natural name that we arrived at. When I learned that the Ozone stands for protecting this life on Earth, we all understand it is a very thin line, it's a very thin layer in stratosphere. But wherever it gets eroded, that's the place where there are a lot of problems happen. So much so that place also become very carcinogenic. So keeping that understanding into view, I would like that our group should become a natural guard like ozone. That's the reason we adopted this name, ozone, as a group. What we do in India, we really enjoy. India is a land of opportunity. The amount of growth which is going to happen in India is going to be immense. We are doing well there. I thought I should change the game, change the flavor and play another game in a new land and that is Canada. So that's the reason we decided that we should be venturing into Canada and these are the three sectors that we consider that we should be making impact in. Information technology, hospitality, which we will call wellness in particular, and the third is real estate. While I was talking to someone, in wellness itself, we should be creating more than 200 jobs. Because this is a job where you have to be have, it's a service industry. You have to have people, those who are delivering the services. So it's a very obvious happening that it would be more than 200 jobs which would be I am Dinesh Bhatia. I am the Consul General of India in Toronto and I, I uh, wish all the very best to the viewers of Toronto 360 TV. Hi, I am Jai Khalra and you are watching Toronto 360 TV. We'll be back after this commercial break.